Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. This is for your full moon happening in your sign on the 9th of October. So it's going to be about being in your power, the emperor energy, um, reclaiming your worth, like knowing your worth, reclaiming your power, um, brand new beginnings, ending of things that do not belong in your life anymore. And I am running a sale. Um, well, Etsy is running a sale. Click on the link below if you would like a, um, a reading where I tune into just your energy. I offer a variety of readings over on Etsy. So there are like four to five readings that are on sale right now because Etsy is having a fall special. So until the end of October, that sale is going on. So if it's something that you need clarity or guidance or answers to, just click on the link below and check that out. And I am giving, I'm having a giveaway. I'm going to choose 12 people, whether you're returning or new subscribers. Um, all you have to do is let me know if you're returning or new and what your favorite season is and why. I want to pay it forward during my birthday month and my favorite season fall. I want to pay it forward and show you how grateful I am for this journey on YouTube and for all the support that you guys give me. All right, so we're going to see what messages are meant for you. Which of the end of the world, which at the end of the world, 45, 9, an important end brings a brand new beginning. Just like I said, closing out chapters during the full moon being in your sign and allowing brand new beginnings to happen. 13, 4, I am Kali from death comes rebirth from endings comes brand new beginnings transformation 38 carnivorous flower fairy attempting offer at a high price all right let's see what else messages for aries during the full moon in their sign spirit Take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. And look at this, a fiery climax, full moon in Aries. I got to make sure I keep that out. That was at the bottom of the deck. For Aries spirit. All right. Oh, well, four wanted to come. Three wanted to come out and then the one that already popped out. We're going to take it. Concern, 33. You have Pisces in your chart. Or was this Aquarius? Aquarius, it might have been. If you have Aquarius in your chart, that popped out for them. Family room. Nurturing those connections during this time that feel like home to you. 333, three, three, guys. Thoughts. Yeah, you're definitely thinking about something. Definitely in your head about something. Change. With family room and change... This might be the time that some of you decide to get your own place, move out from your family, um, relocate. Let's say Aries energy during the full moon in Aries. Two of presence. Yeah, you see, you're definitely thinking about something going back and forth. Are you thinking about the chapters to close and which ones to, like, things about your life that you need to close and move on from? Oh, because there is, are you thinking about, just like I dropped them, are you thinking about letting your guard down on something or someone with the emperor? Just as I drop them, you might be letting your guard down. Let's see. It might be within a connection, Aries. Look at this. But it's going to need, a decision's going to need to be made.
Are you closing a chapter on with someone and moving on? Are you close? Are you you know? Are you are you reopening it? I don't even want to say that because it's like emperor energy is closing chapters and moving on, but it might be that a clap a chapter you closed. You might turn around. This person's in your face. It might, or you decide to move towards someone that you've been thinking about. I don't know. Let's see, guys. Oh, look at this. It could be a Virgo. But I this is more soul searching. And this was not meant to be in this deck. So this is definitely a sign. More soul searching, guys. More thinking. Contemplating. What is the current situation for Aries? Look. Five of potions. Somebody might have ghosted you. Gaslighted you. Left you like feeling like you were on the outside looking in. But you're moving away from that energy. And like I said, moving towards wish fulfillment with nine of potions. And it, that, that turned over in reverse. All right, what is the future energy for Aries? I'm actually intrigued by this reading. Eight of presence. Doing what you feel like dedicating your time towards something that you feel passion for hard at work it could be the time where during this full moon in aries that you're just like i said you're you're knowing your worth you're you're working hard on yourself your finances for some of you you could be relocating but you're traveling towards balance it could be an air sign that's coming towards you. It might be that you're hard at work and this person pops up. What is Aries embracing during this full moon in your house? What is Aries embracing? Healing. Being patient. Healing. During something that might have been a tower moment. Or it could be that soon it's going to feel like a tower moment and let, where there was an ending. You're going to see why there was an ending and there's a brand new beginning. Stability. You could be receiving a windfall of money. But it's the solid foundation. Nurturing connections that feel like home to you. Or there, like I said, with family room here, it might have been a fallout with somebody from your family. Somebody that you considered home. But at the end of the deck, at the bottom of the deck again, is that wish fulfillment. So you're moving towards something that brings you happiness, something that you've dreamed about. What is Aries letting go of? You're letting go of the burdens. You're letting go of the burdens. You're letting go of anything that seems shady or not right. Yeah. See, it's like there are things that have knocked you down, but you've been resilient. You stood back up. You know, you're moving a little bit cautiously towards your wish fulfillment. But with the Four of Cups here, there's going to be an offer coming in. And it might be that you got your arms crossed. You don't know if you should accept it. You should take it. You should trust it. It could be an air sign coming towards you. Why is the Two of Presence here with the lovers for Aries? Yeah, see... There was an ending. And you've went within. You've taken a break. Whether you were meditating or praying, you took a rest, cleared your mind, kept the heart rate here not too far from you. But you're trying to figure out what your heart truly desires. And why 
is the five of potions here in reverse spirit. I knew this was going to pop out. There is someone coming towards you and they want a new beginning with you. They, whatever was the negativity, whatever was the hard ending. It's like they want growth within this connection. They want to make it right. Why is the Eight of Presence here? But it's like you're hard at work making, I mean, making your happiness. You're very confident these days. Like, it's like the soul within your, the fire within your soul is lit. And you want to be dedicated towards the things that hold place in your life, that are meant to hold place in your life. But I got to tell you, with this person coming towards you, I definitely feel like with the yin and the yang, they want balance. They're coming in to bring balance to this connection. Why is temperance tower and the ten of presence here? Temperance, Tower, and the Ten of Presence. Yeah, see? It's like this, this, this connection that is now, like, not in your life right now, it were let, they were hard lessons for you. You had to rise up over feeling left out, over that hard ending. You had to close that chapter. And now it's like, you felt stuck at a time, but you allowed this transformation to happen and you moved on. You very well could have moved on to someone else, but you moved on to your happiness, your stability. And now here comes this offer from the past. Do you leave the person that you might have moved on to for this person? Are you going to lose yourself, all the work you've done? Or is this a karmic and you need to close out this chapter because this is who you're really meant to be with? Please clarify the Ten of Candles. But there's going to be a big decision during this full moon in your energy. Yeah, see? It's going to be very tempting. There is an offer coming in that's going to be very tempting. Do you see this, Aries? What are you going to choose? It's like, don't lose yourself in this connection. All the work you've done. Remember, it's in your sign this full moon. Know your worth. But there's going to be a big decision to make. For those of you that haven't moved on to someone, you know, you're going to, you're going to have to see what kind of energy they show up in. It might be an earth sign. You may have earth in your chart. But this is the stability I do think it, look, I do think it might be an earth sign. There you are and there they are. And you're holding your chest piece like, you know, All right, final message. Hold back. Don't make any like fast moves. See how they're going to reach out to you. See what they got to say. I feel like it's been a slow movement for them to come back towards you. But with that energy, it's like they, they're coming in stable. They've worked on their finances. They worked on their stability. And it's almost like you might have air in your chart, but it's almost like because you're in your element, you're in your, 
you're in your worth. You're making very sharp decisions this month during this full moon and, and in your sign. It's like they're going to creep up on you. It might be when you least expect it. And you're like, Wah! with your with your sword. Like, do you, are you going to allow them in, Aries? Could be a fellow fire sign. Could be an earth sign. Could be an air sign. You might have even relocated after this ending or they relocated. But it's like a climax to this connection. It's like watching a movie. You've done the work. You've went through the transformation. You're knowing your worth, Aries. You all this like you know you're working hard. You got this brand new beginning in front of you, and then they return, and it's like you're at the climax. Like you got to let me know. Are you going to accept, or are you just going to shut the door, block them, or are you going to open your arms up and let this be that brand new beginning? Either way, you're going in emperor at emperor style. Knowing your worth. So even if you allow this person in with open arms and they, you know, resort to their old ways or, you know, it doesn't work out for a second time, you're in your worth. So don't fear it. You're going to make the right decision. You're exactly where you need to be. Like I said, what's coming towards you is going to bring you balance. I don't see it being teetered or lost. It's going to be the yin, the yang. It's going to scales balanced. Moving towards fairness, stability, solid foundation. All right, let me know if you accept or are you going to shut the door on them? Love and light. I will be back for many more readings. So leave me a message, new subscribers, returning, favorite season and why. And you, for, some, for 12 of you, you're going to be hearing from me at the end of the month and receiving a free reading in November. For those of you that want to take um, advantage of the sale that's over on my Etsy shop, click on the link below. View the um, readings that I have that are for sale or just the variety of readings that I have. But there are the ones that are for sale that might fall within what you're looking for. All right. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. I will be back for many more readings.